It's that time again where I give you a look at what I eat in a day. Good morning, so as you can see, I'm already up and showered and ready and everything. I'm going to do some work outside the home today. I'm doing some Dr. Yum stuff this morning that I have to get to, and actually I'm running a little bit late. So I plan to have something else for breakfast than what I'm gonna show you, but because I am late, we're having to do something that's a little bit more quick and something that I can take with me. So I'm gonna show you all of that, but before we get into the video, I do want to let you know, first off, if you happen to be new here, then my name is Sarah, and I am a registered dietitian, and this whole channel is about food and nutrition stuff. So if you're into that sort of thing, then make sure that you subscribe. But also remember that this video and any of my what I eat in a day videos, you know, they're not here to tell you what to eat or how much you should be eating or anything like that because every single person is different and every day is different. This is just here to maybe give you some ideas or some inspiration if you're trying to come up with new meal ideas for yourself or just for fun so you can see what a dietitian eats. So with all that said, let's get into the food. So this is breakfast on the run this morning. Uh, I've kind of just got like a hodgepodge of things here. So I've got a couple pieces of toast I had planned to have strawberry cream cheese toast this morning, so I'd already toasted these, and then I decided that I needed to change my plan. So we've got toast here. I've got some strawberries in this container that I'm gonna be taking with me. This, in this container, this is some cashews. So I've got those in there. And then this is a Siggy's yogurt. This is the, let's turn around strawberry rhubarb flavor. I've never had this. I picked it up at the grocery store last week when I was out and I thought I was going to need a snack and then I ended up not needing it. So it's just been sitting in my fridge. Um, so this isn't something that I, you know, buy all the time or keep stock. So I'm not sure how much I'll like it, but it is what I'm having this morning. And maybe I'll give you an update on that um, at lunchtime or something like, you know, how it was. And then I'm also brewing a tea. I'm going to put some honey and lemon in this new me gunpowder green tea because my throat is feeling a little scratchy and I'm hoping this will make it feel a little bit better. But I need to get all this stuff packed up and get out of here so I can make it to my thing. So I'm going to do that and then I will talk to you again at lunchtime. All right, so you might not be able to tell because I'm basically standing in the same place, but it's lunchtime now. So I've got my lunch all ready and I'm going to show that to you. But uh, just an update on that yogurt, the strawberry rhubarb ciggies. I thought it was really good highly recommend so to me delicious uh, but now let's get into lunch and I'll show you what we've got going on here because it's a little different than what I normally do since I typically have leftovers for lunch from dinner the night before but we were at Jason's parents house for dinner last night so we don't have any leftovers so I had to come up with something else instead so what I'm having today is one of these Indian meals uh, this is the aloo palak but you can find these in your grocery store um, a lot of times in the international section and these are really great we keep these stocked in the house four times like this when either we need something quick or maybe a night where we don't feel like making dinner or plans change or whatever so I'm doing this one today so I cooked some brown rice and I've got it all mixed together it's not the most appetizing looking thing but it is so so good and then I've got some cherries here on the side that I'm probably gonna eat with this and then I also went ahead and pulled out the hummus this particular one does not have any sort of beans in it or paneer and none of the box Indian meals have meat so it's probably not gonna have quite enough protein to keep me feeling you know, full and satisfied going on from this meal. So I've also got the hummus. I'll probably eat this with a few tortilla chips or something just to bump up the protein a little bit and make it all a little bit more satisfying. So that's the plan for lunch. And a little side note on all of this stuff. Um, you know, when I show you what I'm eating in a day, definitely remember that you're not seeing every single bite of food that goes into my mouth. This is what I have planned for lunch. Maybe I won't eat all of this. Maybe I will go back and get more after I finish this. Um, it's not, you know, about showing you exactly the amounts that I'm eating. Because again, it's not really about amounts or this is not like a prescriptive thing. It's just to show you kind of what I'm eating and maybe give you some ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and eat some lunch and then I will see you again the next time I eat. Well, it's evening time now. I just finished making dinner and I'm changed into my comfy clothes. And so I'm going to give you a look at the spread that we have here and then I'll show you what my bowl looks like. So tonight we're doing rice bowls. So we've got some brown rice back here. Then I have some ground beef that I cooked up here in the pan with a little salt and paprika and some garlic powder. Over here we have some roasted mushrooms. I'll eat a few of these, but as many of you know by now, these are mostly for Jason because they are one of his favorite, favorite things. Then moving over to the table here, we have some roasted yellow squash. This is mostly for me because this is one of my favorites. We have some roasted red onion, and honestly, I would normally leave these in a little longer to get a little more crispy, but we have a little bit of a timetable thing going on, so I had to take them out a little bit early, but that's okay. And then we have some other toppers over here. So I have some fresh cucumber, fresh tomato, green onion, 
onions, and then some chopped cilantro, basil, and dill. So this is what I have going on, and honestly, I've just got a little bit of everything in here, and then I put some sriracha on top to spice it up. And this is one of my favorite dinners because it can be customized to the seasons. It's just, you know, whatever you have. Um, it's also great if you're trying to use up stuff in the fridge, and it's also great if you're serving people with different tastes because you can make a lot of different things, and then everyone can just customize it to whatever they like. So we're gonna go ahead and eat dinner, and then I will talk to you again a little bit later. So it's a little bit later now. Dinner was super yummy. Jason is playing some video games right now and I decided that I want to have some ice cream. So I pulled this out of the freezer. This is the Ben and Jerry's Tonight Dough. This is our favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor. It's caramel and chocolate ice cream with chocolate chip cookie swirls, chocolate chip cookie dough, and peanut butter cookie dough. Super yummy and I have an assortment of them down in the chest freezer. I like to get them when they're on sale and then we can just have them whenever we need them. And what I normally do is when it's on sale I will stock up just because Ben & Jerry's is kind of expensive compared to some other ice creams. So I'll usually get a couple of these because it is our favorite and then I'll mix in other flavors we like or maybe if there's a new flavor that we want to try, things like that. And yeah, then we just keep them down in the freezer and then we, um, in the chest freezer in the basement and then we just keep whatever one we're currently eating up here in the regular freezer to pull down when we want it. So I'm gonna get myself a spoon and dive into this and I am very excited about it. Well, the ice cream was yummy and I just finished getting ready for bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep. So I hope you enjoyed this What I Ate In A Day video and you found it interesting or helpful. And if you happen to be new here and you want more healthy eating tips and nutrition info and videos like this one, then make sure that you subscribe because eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle, it really doesn't have to be complicated and I wanna show you how to do it. And if you wanna watch some more videos, I have a couple linked over here that you might like. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you next time.